Hello students, in this video we'll see how to compute the exponential of a matrix with complex eigenvalues. Let's consider a matrix A with eigenvalues lambda equals A plus or minus IB. And eigenvectors v1 and v2, where a of v1 is equal to a plus i b v1, and a of v2 is a minus i b v2. In other words, v2 is the eigenvector that corresponds to a minus ib, and v1 is the eigenvector that corresponds to a plus ib. We can see that these eigenvectors, by taking the complex conjugate, are the conjugates of each other. So v1 bar is equal to v2. They're complex conjugates, just as the eigenvalues are complex conjugates. So what we'll now do is we will consider a applied to the real part of v2, which is the real part of a of v2. And a of v2, we know, is a minus ib v2. And so what we can do is we can split this into, we can split v2 into its real and imaginary part. This will be a minus ib, and then the real part of v2 plus i, the imaginary part of v2. So to find the real part of this product, I look for the terms that have no i's. So a times the real part of v2 will have no i's, and negative ib times i, imaginary part of v2, will also have no i's. So if we simplify this, we will see that this is exactly equal to a, the real part of v2, and then I have a negative i times a positive i. That is going to be a positive 1. So positive b, the imaginary part of v2. Next, we will compute a of the imaginary part of v2, which will be the imaginary part of a of v2. And this will be the imaginary part of a minus ib applied to v2, which will be the imaginary part, by the same reasoning, a minus ib, up, multiplied by the real part of v2 plus i, the imaginary part of v2. And now I will focus on the terms that have i's. So a times the imaginary part of v2 will have an i, so this will give me a, a imaginary part of v2. And then this term over here, negative ib, real part of v2, will have an i, so I'll have a negative b, real part of v2. And now if we take these relationships and assemble them in a matrix, we see that a applied to the matrix real part of v2, imaginary part of v2, is equal to the matrix real part of v2, imaginary part of v2, and then that will be hit with the matrix A negative B B A. And we get our relationship over here, so what we'll do is we'll call this matrix over here P. P. And so we have deduced that A is equal to P, A negative B, B negative A, P inverse. So we have a form of a diagonalization for the matrix with complex eigenvalues. As it turns out, we can now say that A to the power n will be P, A, negative B, B, A, and this A here is a positive A, 
not a negative A, P inverse. And this matrix is raised to the power N. So to exponentiate this, I will note that the exponential of A is P exponential of this matrix, A negative B, B, A, P inverse. So our objective is to now define this. We can note that A negative B, B, A can be written as the square root of a squared plus b squared, 0, 0, the square root of a squared plus b squared, and then times cosine theta, negative sine theta, sine theta, cosine theta, where here theta, the cosine of theta, is chosen to be a over the square root of a squared plus b squared, and the sine of theta is chosen to be b over the square root of a squared plus b squared. So to raise this to the power, we can note that I can write this in polar form as r cosine theta negative r sine theta, r sine theta, and then r cosine theta. So we can see now that when we raise this Take the exponential of this. We will have the matrix e to the a cosine b, negative e to the a sine b, e to the a sine b, and e to the a cosine b. By using the polar form and using the fact that if I raise this to the nth power, I can use the double angle and triple angle formulas to simplify this. So in conclusion, if you have a matrix with complex eigenvalues, you will choose the eigenvalue that looks like A minus IB, and then your decomposition will be that A is P times A negative B, B positive A, P inverse. And the matrix P is formed by taking the real part and the imaginary part of the eigenvector that corresponds to A minus IB. Thank you very much.